Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm your MC, Robbie Collins, and you are watching Comic-Con Africa 2020. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, please help me introduce Kelly Overtone. Hey, what's up, hey. Africa? <laughs> what's happening, Hi. Kelly? How are you doing? <laughs> what's that? How are you doing? Um, I am doing pretty great. Thank you. That's yeah, awesome. I'm in LA right now and um, just got home from shooting season five um, oh. in Vancouver. And so it feels really good to be home. Oh, snap. That's awesome. How, how did the shoot go? It was pretty great. Um, you know, it was very different because we're shooting in the time of, you know, COVID. Um, so there were all kinds of protocols and safety, um, uh, just regulations in place. Um, to keep everybody safe, but uh, proudly, we were one of the first um, productions to successfully finish shooting with no COVID spread. So it went really well. Oh, sweet. So th this, you just shot season five, right? Yeah. Season five, and it was announced that this is the final season. That's right. How was it being on set? Did every, from the, from the get-go of shooting season five, did pe could you see people feeling a bit sad or... Was the what was the what was the vibe on um, on set? Yeah, um, I think overall everybody was really happy and thankful to be back at work and to be right. able to complete season five because they were shooting season five in Slovakia um, before COVID hit. Uh, so right before March, before productions got shut down. Right. So um, nobody knew if we were going to get to finish. So the fact that we were able to go back to work and actually finish the season, um, everybody was really happy and grateful for. That combined with, of course, it being the last chapter. Right. Um, sure, it was totally emotional. Um, every day, it was like last week, second to last week, last week, last day, you know. Um, there was just a lot of love. Right. It was hard. It was very bittersweet. Totally, I can imagine. And this character of yours is really a kick-ass. You play a kick-ass woman, which is, which is amazing to see. Um, did you ever think that your role will have such an impact on series and film? Um, no, of course. Of course. <laughs> I, no, so when you like audition for a job and stuff, um, especially TV shows, you really only get the first episode. A lot of people don't know that, but... Right. Um, you just get one episode, and so you don't know where the series is going to go. You don't know where the first season is going to go, if there will be more seasons. Um, you just have that one episode to go by. And when I read it, I instantly knew, like you said, this was a really kick-ass woman. Yeah. And um, I loved that it was a mother-daughter story at its heart. And so I knew that there would be a lot of um, fighting. Uh, uh, I loved that it was typically a, a male role. Um, and they were casting it female. I thought that was amazing. Uh, so I knew all those things going into it, but I, I didn't know how, you know, that it would go five seasons. It's just yeah. been amazing. But, but that's amazing. Did you, I know you've got a very sporty background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You played, you played soccer, you played basketball. Yep. And you have a record. What about you? You have a sporty background? I have a pretty sporty background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah I can tell. I'm so soccer, soccer and um, basketball. And cricket, that's like Excellent. our, cricket is our baseball. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. So, so do, do you feel like you were prepared for these uh, really physical scenes just from your background? Yeah. Or did you feel like you were put to work on the set? Um, no, I, I, well, both. But I did feel ready um, because of my athleticism. Uh, it was always something that I felt I had unique to bring to the table as an actor. Um, and to be able to do two things that I loved, right. the acting, and then also being able to like work out and be fit, <laughs> like that to me was a dream come true. So um, I loved that I was able to do that and, and having played the sports and stuff definitely prepared me. And I always kind of prepared um, and tried to have that kind of a career. So, um, you know, Professionally, I've always been like, you know, boxing and, and just trying to stay um, really fit and ready for when that role came along. So I felt really prepared. But then you show up on set and um, you're learning these fight scenes that you've never done before, yeah. uh, different sequences and 
and that's a real um, that's a real kind of art in itself. Um, being able to memorize the choreography and stuff. Um, and big shout out to our stunt coordinator, Kamani. Uh, he's just amazing um, and came up with really cool stuff to do. And my stunt double, Holly, I have to give her a shout out too because she's just amazing. Um, but yeah, being on set then, yeah, it was a whole, it was a whole other beast. Do you, ever find, awesome. do you ever find yourself on set and there's a stunt that needs to be done and Holly's walking up onto set and it looks too exciting for you to back off? And you're like, no, Holly, I got this. <laughs> Have you ever changed oh, totally. your mind? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I mean, I always try to do as much as I can. But when it's like, and Vanessa Van Helsing gets thrown against the wall, I'm like, where's Holly? <laughs> I don't need to do that. That's cool. I don't need my pass at that. I'm happy. <laughs> do, you, do you feel like being a mom um, helped you relate to Vanessa's char the character of Vanessa a lot easier? Absolutely. Um, at the time uh, of season one, you know, Vanessa has uh, Dylan is her daughter um, at the beginning of the series. And at the time I had one daughter as well. Um, and so I just really connected with the being uh, a mom and being a mom to a daughter. Um, so that, that was something that was, it was, I think maybe my first role since becoming a mom where I was actually playing a mom. Right. Um, and it, yes, it helped immensely, <laughs> especially when you have such an emotional relationship with your daughter. And it was just so easy to love her. Um, Hannah, who played Dylan, it was just so easy to love that character. That's awesome. And does your daughter know what mom does? Like when you, <laughs> when you go yeah. off onto set? Well, she does. She's nine now, believe it or not. Oh, so she's pretty much and, grown um, up with the show. Yeah, That's awesome. and we've had, um, a lot of people might not know this, but I've had two babies um, in the past five years. So oh, wow. I've, um, and I've worked through that, worked through the pregnancies and all that stuff. So it's been, um, it's been a really special show and time in my life. Um, but yeah, she knows what I do. She'd come to set and at first season one, I'm like, don't look at the vampires. You, know, no. <laughs> you can't stay in my trailer. That's it. But now she goes, you know, she'll go up to them and she knows them personally and she'll just be like, that's not scary. I think that's pretty cool. You know, that's not real. Um, so she gets it and she's, she's a joy. She loves to be on set. How do you, how do you find the time to manage being a mom and this, this um, kick-ass character in a TV show? Like, is it, is it a lot of pressure? Because they both need quite Thanks a for bit. Asking. <laughs> um, you know what? It's, it's been pretty awesome so far. Um, and my youngest son is one years old, so I'm still working it out. <laughs> right. But um, the job's been awesome. You know, I, I love being home. I love being a full-time mommy. And when I do that, I do it with my full heart. And then when I have to go change and put on a different hat, um, I do the same thing. I, when I'm working, I, I do it with my whole heart. And I think the gift um, that I've been fortunate to have is that when I do work, it's like four months, three, four months at a time. And then I'm home for eight months. Right. And, <clears throat> and I'm not, I, you know, I don't need to, I don't have that need to work all year long. So when I'm home, I'm just home with my kids, That's you know, awesome. and, and it's, it is awesome. And then I get to go back and I get to focus and I try to keep them a part of my life um, as, as I'm working and come to my trailer and stuff. This year was obviously different with uh, the coronavirus and stuff. Um, and then now I have three, so it gets a little tight in my trailer. <laughs> I'm like, this is chaos. You guys need to go. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, but, it, but it's great. And, and um, my husband's fantastic. Um, he's, he uh, is able to work from home also. So we have a lot of flexibility there. So um, the kids always have one of us. That's awesome. And I'm sure the nine-year-old is probably taking on this whole leadership role where she's helping totally. the little ones on set. Like, that's not real. No, <laughs> it's fine. Totally. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, the little ones, I mean, I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old. They definitely don't know what mommy does. <laughs> yeah. They have never been on set. But the nine-year-old, I mean, she's down there right now helping out, you know. That's she's, awesome. she's a big, a big helper. She's, yeah, she's amazing. Is the, would you, how would you feel if your kids got into um, acting? Is that something you, you would encourage? 
they're spending all this time I'm, on set and seeing their mom kick ass every day. I know. <laughs> it, it, it can look very oh. encouraging to a kid. Totally. You know, I think I've had to tell myself it's not so much about the business. and I just have to, as a mom, encourage what her heart is for. Right. She has a heart right now to explore you know, um, acting and all that. Like, I like, I, I want to support her. Um, and if that's where doors open and her path leads, God bless her. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it is, it's a, it can be a wonderful business. Um, uh, so I, I don't know. I, I definitely will dissuade her as a child from doing it. But that's just my personal um, path for her. But uh, I will give her all the tools to continue to grow her passion in the meantime if it's something she loves sweet is there, is there a profession that you wanted to do before acting came along or was acting from the get-go you know i never really thought too far ahead as far as profession um when i was younger i think at one point i wanted to be like a naval aviator pilot oh that's sick <laughs> um that's the one thing i really remember um but it was sports, you know, it was um, soccer and track and going to college on scholarship and maybe doing that professionally. That was kind of sports were really my path. And then in my sophomore year of high school, uh, I started acting and that's kind of where the coin was flipped on its head. And I was like, wait, maybe this is what I want to do. Right. Well, look, you're also in True Blood, right? You're in True Blood. Yeah. So what is... What is the comparison, what is the difference from going from True Blood to Van Housing? Well, I think one of the biggest differences was that um, I came on to True Blood in season five, I believe. So that was a really established show. Um, huge ensemble. <laughs> I mean, right. so many amazing actors. Um, and then with, uh, and I was playing a werewolf, right? <laughs> <laughs> so um, coming to Van Housing, uh, I was the lead. It was it, that was very different, um, and it was I got to help create the show from the beginning, um, which was a very different experience. Uh, and I uh, was also while it was still a supernatural show, um, going from one supernatural show to the next. Uh, Vanessa was primarily human, um, and so it was just a very different creature than yeah. um, Ricky on Van Helsing or on True Blood. So. Those are the big differences, I think. And also, um, you know, it, it was HBO. It's a much bigger budget. So there was more time to do our episodes um, than on Van Helsing. It's a, you know, it's a smaller show. Uh, and uh, we, we kind of crank those out faster. Right. We've got a couple of questions from your fans. Great. Yeah. Okay, the first one. Um, somebody would like to know, what was it like playing Christy in the Tekken movie? Awesome. I loved Christy. And that was one of my first um, roles and, and shows where I was really doing the martial arts and being physical and training so hard off camera with this amazing group um, uh, from France and who pr primarily did parkour. And so we were just like in the gym doing crazy stunts and having a blast. And um, that was a really special movie for me. Um, you know, loved the game, loved the people I worked with. Some of them I'm still in contact with today. Um, but yeah, Christy was awesome. That's loved so cool. her. I love that people lo like the show or the movie, you know, it's awesome for me to see that. Right. Second question. <laughs> Andrea would like to know, what does the fake blood taste like? <laughs> well, it's at first when it goes in your mouth, it's a little sweet because it's a syrup based. Right. Um, so you're like, oh, this isn't so bad. But then the dye, the food dye, the red coloring kind of kicks in and you're like, oh, this actually isn't that great um so it could be worse but it's not like you want to swallow it yeah, <laughs> you yeah. definitely don't want to swallow it so a lot of the time people are trying to kind of keep it in their mouth like that um but yeah it's it's not the worst there's actually two different kinds one is kind of like 
when you have more of the blood come out, that's the syrup. And then the other kind's like a spray if it's just for like your teeth. And that one's kind of minty, so it's not bad. Okay. Look, you were, you were also in All My Children. Which, yeah. All My Children is a pretty big show in South Africa. Really? That's awesome. Yeah, South, South Africa is a big fan of the soapies. <laughs> Sweet. Um, would you ever go back into soapies? Or is that something you've left behind? No, I mean, look, whatever makes sense for my family, um, you know, yeah. um, that, that's, that's always my main focus. Um, obviously, there, I have desires creatively, but um, if it made sense for my family, 100%, and I've actually heard that being involved, like that, that lifestyle is very family friendly. So, right. yeah, I'd be open to it for sure. Sweet. Are you open to coming to South Africa? 100%. Are you kidding? I would die. I would <laughs> love to come to South Africa. I would love to have you. Yeah, definitely. Thanks. Uh, final question. Sorry. Oh, uh, was it a dream to act in NCIA? Is when you wanted to be in the Navy? Oh, um, n no, I think I kind of left the, um, the, <laughs> the Navy dreams uh, kind of in high school and never continued to have much of a desire for that. Um, but it was, being on that show was amazing. Um, it was super cool. Like, you know, I was a guest on that show um, and as, as you know, that show's been around for a long time, and they are a well-oiled machine and just so professional. And um, I loved being on that set as I was, you know, kind of coming up in the, in the business. Right. Oh, we have another question. Sorry. Great. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't hear that, Carla. Oh, um, somebody would like to know how many practical effects are involved in Van Helsing um, than CGI? Um, there's definitely a CGI. I mean, there's definitely a good amount of that. Um, and I think as the seasons have progressed, season one, it was pretty minimal. Um, you know, it was, it, it, it didn't go really into the fantasy realm um until i think about season three and it's gone kind of more into that fantasy aspect and then so with that naturally when you have like the whole skies you know darkening or all kinds of um you know supernatural things happening you need more cgi but the makeup and um hair departments do an amazing job with the actual characters so most of that isn't CGI. What you're seeing is like great artistry and the contacts and the, um, they just did amazing jobs. So shout out to them. But yeah, there is some CGI. It's just more, more and more as the series goes on. Right. You, you also in a music video. How is it, how is it being in a music video? <laughs> you're talking about the Catherine McPhee music yes. video? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, she, you know, was a dear friend. And so that was... Uh, awesome and you know my husband shot that oh wow <laughs> and the um the guy in the music video with me is one of our dear friends so that was a very kind of homegrown experience like we just went out and started shooting that ourselves um so it was very relaxed and very different um in that way uh yeah, but that was so fun. I love music so much. So to be able to do something like that was kind of a dream. Do you think, you, do you think you're much of a singer? No. No, not at all? No musicals Look, coming up? <laughs> no, I, I am. <laughs> I play guitar. I've tried. Um, I am a, a good shower singer. I'll give, I'll give myself <laughs> that credit. But no, I'm not going to be doing any musicals or anything. Right. Are you naturally attracted to... Um, roles that involve supernatural? You know, it's just, I think as a kid, I loved, I loved the fantasy stuff. Um, and so those doors have opened for me. Um, and, and I'll tell you what I do love about the supernatural is that there's, you have to use your imagination so much. 
yeah. when you're shooting these kinds of shows. And so in that way, it feels really challenging to me. And, you know, I come from a background where I'm trained in Shakespeare and Greek tragedy. Um, and those are very heightened circumstances also. So I think as an actor, there's something about playing in that world that excites me and where I feel challenged. Um, so I enjoy it for that reason, but you know, I'd love to break out and you know, do some other genres. So. Right. If, look, if but you, I do love it. And the fans are amazing. Like, sorry to cut you off, but shout no. out to the fans. They are just the best fans in the world. So I really also enjoy that aspect of my job, the interaction, like being able to do this and knowing that the fans are watching and knowing that the fans are loving it um, and hearing back from them is so gratifying and awesome. Well, the fans love you. I know there's quite a few questions, uh -huh. but we're running out of time. But the fans definitely do love you. And we'd love to have you in South Africa next year. Oh, my gosh, please. That would be a dream. Have you ever been to Africa in general? No. No? No, it's on my bucket list. Oh, you'd love it. You'd love it, yeah. I'm sure I would. <laughs> uh, one last question for me. If you couldn't do acting, if you didn't have acting, what would, yes. the, what would the other profession be? <clears throat> okay, well, I'll try and keep this short. But the other one um, I'm actually doing right now, and <clears throat> that is um, owning my own company. So a lot of people might not know this, but I have a couple e-commerce companies. Um, and right now we are primarily um, Amazon US. We sell on Amazon US, um, but our goal is to be worldwide. Um, and this new company I'm working on is called Body Surf, and it's um, a skincare slash California beachy lifestyle brand. Oh, nice. um, we're planning to launch it in early 2021. And so it's just amazing to be able to create and design different products like beach blankets and beach bags and boogie boards um, and sunscreen. And it's, it's uh, something I'm passionate about. Uh, it's family friendly. It's something my husband and I are doing together. Um, and it's something the family like we all can do together. So uh, I'm really excited about that. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome and all the best. Let us know when Thank that you. gets to South Africa, when we can purchase it. Okay, I will, for sure. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, sweet. Thank you so much, eh, Kelly? Take care. Bye, guys. Peace and love. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, Kelly Overtone, please, we're gonna, look, we're going to have a quick word from the sponsors, and, but don't go anywhere because we will be back with Kevin Eastman.